taken from Notorious Nazi Women, by Stuart Dandel. Ruth Closius Nudek Ruth Closius Nudek was born on 5 July, 1920, in Breslau, Germany, which is now Rocklaw in Poland. As is a rather common among the female Nazi war criminals, not much is known of her life before the Second World War. One thing we do know however, is that she signed up relatively late to become a concentration camp guard. It wasn't until July of 1944, that she arrived at the notorious Ravensbrück concentration camp to begin her training. This wouldn't stand in the way of Closius Nudek however, and she was soon impressing her superiors with her uncompromising approach to dishing out cruelty. By late July, still in the same month as arriving, Closius Nudek's sunbending brutality was recognized, and she was promoted to barracks overseer, Block Fuhrerin. Once at Travensbruck, Ruth Closius Nudek quickly established herself as one of the most cruel, ruthless, and sadistic guards at the facility. One former prisoner spoke after the war and stated that she had seen Closius Nudek cut the throat of an inmate with a sharp edge of her shovel. A few short months later and Closius Nudek had already attained another promotion, giving her the rank of overseer, Oberofsherin. With the promotion, she was moved to the extermination complex in Ackermark in December of 1944. It wasn't a big move however, as Uckermark was just a stone's throw from Ravensbrück. The Uckermark subcamp was opened in May of 1942, as a prison or parallel concentration camp for young girls, aged between 16 and 21 years. Girls who reached the upper age limit during imprisonment, were transferred back to the Ravensbrück women's camp. At the new complex, Ruth Closius Nudek didn't slow down any in her punishments and soon she was selecting women and children for execution. Alongside the mistreatment, degradation, and brutalizing of prisoners, it is thought that at this time, Closius Nudek sentenced over 5,000 women and children to their deaths. In the March of 1945, Closius Nudek was made head of the subcamp at Barth. Like a lot of the guards working in the extermination camps, Closius Nudek tried to make good her escape when it appeared that Germany were going to lose the war. In April of 1945, she fled the camp at Barth, but was captured soon after by the British Army, who detained her while investigators corroborated the allegations by prisoners from the camps. Ruth Closius Nudek would eventually be brought to justice in the Third Ravensbrück trial, in April of 1948. This trial was named unofficially as the Uckermark trial, and involved five female guards from the Uckermark extermination camp, Ruth Closius Nudek being one of them. Closius Nudek among the others, was brought up on four separate charges before the court, these were The mistreatment of Allied women in Uckermark, the participation in the selection of Allied women for the gas chamber in Uckermark the mistreatment of Allied women in the Ravensbrück concentration camp, and the selection of Allied women for the gas chamber in the Ravensbrück concentration camp. During proceedings she stood accused both of mistreatment of the prisoners, and murder. A very slippery slope and she didn't help herself when she was quoted as saying. As I took over the Uckermark camp, there were approximately 4,000 prisoners of all nationalities present. When I was reposted after approximately six weeks later, only 1,000 prisoners were remaining. During my activity approximately 3,000 women were selected for the gas chamber accordingly. This dedication to the cause and inability to see mass murder for what it truly is, would be an uncomfortable constant throughout most of the Nazi trials for war crimes. The result of these revelations could only go one way however, and the British court at Hamburg found her guilty of war crimes, on the 26th of April, 1948. For this sentence she received the sentence of death by hanging. On the 29th of July, 1948, Ruth Closius Nudek was taken to the gallows at Hamelin Prison by Albert P. Repoint, and executed in line with her sentence.